are. We are here. Here we are. And we both said the same thing, but what, in different ways. What are for we? For some though? reason. What are we, dude? Terrible at know. Tarkov. We are terrible at Tarkov. We are terrible at Tarkov on a tactical scale. here. No. <laughs> Just I'm appropriating culture. Oh, I'm terribly man, tactical. He is tactical scales, yes. and we are terrible at Tarkov together. We are, yes. T A T T. And you will see it here today. Unfortunately, we, you shall. Hopefully, indeed. Not. Hopefully, this. Will Hopefully, be we can. We're going to attempt. This is the first yeah. time ever going live. Yes. The first episode at terrible of terrible at Tarkov. We were offline. We were offline. And just, it was just me playing. And it was just you playing. Yes. Now it's both of us playing. You're still only going to be now, able to you see know what, his you, screen. You know what you're going to need to figure out though. What is learning to speak while playing the game? Right. Yeah. Well, it's, you couldn't hear it. I, we couldn't hear each other. Point. But now we voiped ourselves. We voiped well, ourselves. And, and I still think that's a good idea buttons. to no, voip. Right. Because it's going to be echoing because right. it can also hear right. the audio from the you right. know, all that it's kind realistic. of stuff. Yeah. But. So I think you just need to figure out how to hear me a little I bit just, better. I, with it, with or both I just on. need to learn to actually speak up a little bit. Which yeah, is, again, gotta, the com- communication like we were talking sure. about on the podcast. Yeah. Just a few minutes ago now. But a few days ago for you guys. But. Because if I'm, like, right now, I just turn the music down quite a bit. And I say, and yeah. obviously there's no music in the game, but. Yeah. Not in the game, but. We'll see. Yeah. But we're doing it. I think you might have we're some better sound canceling in your headphones or something. We are too. terrible at Tarkov. So, we are terrible at Tarkov. And we're about as to be you're about to terrible see. as fuck at it's Tarkov to right now. So, make sure you like, you share, doing? comment, subscribe for Terrible at Tarkov, the new mini series. Yes. You know? So we're are we scaving, dude? dude? Yeah. Are we scavenging right now? Yeah. So we are we're Run going in as a scav together in the same raid. Yeah. We're going in on woods. Mm-hmm. What's the time you want? What time you want? Nineteen or woods? seven, dude? Well, let's go seven thirty. Let's, let's go, go in the morning. All right, let's go yeah. early in the morn. Yeah. Next, dude. I'm gonna start mm-hmm. looking for a group, dude. You don't even need to look for a group, dude. Cause we're friends dude, we're now, here, dude. dude. We're friends. Yeah, now. but it's still you don't show what, up on my thing. What dude. do you got over there, dude? What do you mean? What do you got? What do you run? It looks like some it's like kind a suppressed of suppressed. It's suppressed. Vapor. Check. No. Or is that? Oh no. yeah, the yeah. the T. Uh, yeah. The seven six two by th- or uh, fucking the weird one, like the suppressed one. Yeah. The T something or other. It's a real thing, but T- I don't fucking nine by thirty nine or some fucking some weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like I just got a pump twelve, probably the one thirty three. Could is that be. It's even a 12? It could be. It looks like a sh- smaller barrel. It's tiny, dude. But, but I think all they got is 12 in the game. So. Yeah. And I like got the Elton John glasses, dude. I got the fucking <laughs> Elton, the Elton John, John glasses, glasses dude. dude. You do. Well, you got a decent looking bag. This I'm, video this video sponsored by Cheyenne, who has <laughs> graciously donated the, her computer for yes. use during the filming of Terrible at Tarkov. Yeah. Which we are, and speaking of Tarkov... This mm-hmm. is not Russian, but it is no, vodka. No, definitely not Russian <laughs> It's red. It's That's got a red label on it, dude, so it looks like Russian $12 Walmart ass. vodka. $12 Walmart vodka. You went all the way to Walmart to get this vodka? Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. I appreciate I that. Know. That's dedication, dude. It was. To the cause, dude. You're a good guy. I don't care what they say about you. You know? Unfortunately, I know what they say about me. <laughs> <laughs> He's never been the oh, same man. since. No. Uh, my biggest fear, things. not really a fear... Because I don't have to deal with it. Right? I just realized again. What? You left the door open. Yeah, but does that really matter? I mean, now they can see the door. They can see the door. Yeah, because we're recording it this way. Unlike with say with your chest, they can never see the door. Now so they're it seeing matter. the door, dude. But either way, it doesn't really matter yeah. much. You're seeing. You've seen uh, the door, dude. Where does that doorway go, dude? Box of some trash that needs to be taken out from. What take kind out of your trash, dude. And uh. I'm about to take out the, the trash on Tark right now, dude. Yeah, dude. I am, dude. I'm at matching, dude. We're looking for a match, dude. Dude, I'm at one minutes and fifteen seconds. Yeah. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Looks like you're a little bit of connecting to serve, synchronizing. Sinking. It's about to get real, dude. Now we're loading loot, dude. But they're gonna be able to hear both of us. We'll hear both of us through here, yes. Okay. The same as when you're recording the podcast. Cool, cool. They just won't hear your game audio. Right. They should hear mine though, to an extent. Though for some reason it's not showing, so maybe not. What do you I don't mean? know. Like normally, it would show down in OBS here, where they're hearing my game audio. Let me just try something. Real quick. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So anyway, the basics. If you're here for the first time on the Shooting Poo podcast, and you are watching Terrible at Tarkov episode two, which is a mini podcast. Oh shit! 
when the music cuts out, that's how you know it's we're going live, unless you just did some weird setting shit. But well, you wouldn't hear anything from what I'm doing anyways. Well, the music stopped for me. But here at Terrible at Tarkov, the mini series podcast, but also game streaming, but pre-recordedly, not live. Lives to come in the future once we maintain the technology to do so. But at least this time we are actually playing online with ourselves, giggity. But also, it's probably a couple of people out in the comment section doing that too, you weirdos. Um, but also with other people. So, and it counts. I mean, we're yep. with the scav shit, we're scav running because yeah. we're just trying it out. We don't even know if this we is might all be for lagging now. like fucking crazy, here. dude. Here we in go, dude. Case, it's going down. It's going what down do you mean for it's me, going dude. Going down, dude. You're going in now. I don't know where you're at. It says dude. I'm loading loot at 88 percent right now. You're still loading in, dude. Yeah, dude. But it's going a little slower now. Probably because I'm running. Dude, I got an access it. card, dude. I got some fucking Damn, gun bro. clouds, dude. All you see what you got over there. The shade. You're lagging so dude. hard right now, dude. That's some shade, bro. Slacking behind. I know how you feel the other, felt the other yeah. day, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill out, dude, and wait for you, dude. Yeah. But I don't know if it'll load us at the same spot. I don't know, Mabes. How much time you got left in the game? 29 minutes. Okay. Factory Damn, gate, set, outskirts, set scab, bridge, boat. Cool. So we got either side on the... So we got factory gate. Oh, yeah, that's the co-op, though. So we need a scab and a PMC. So we're going... West side of the map is the goal here. Oh, shit. Where are you at? Dude, where are you at, dude? Right now, I'm at... I am nowhere near you, dude. The lake, dude. Shade. Where I are know, you at, dude? Dude, I'm, I'm in like a gully somewhere, dude. That's some shade, bro. Where do I see the directions? You don't. <laughs> well, we gotta get you a comp, need, dude. You need to get a comp. Where do we, get, where get, do we get the comp, game, dude. dude? You know? So, well, you need to, you need to wait till later game to get in a mission, dude. But so it looks like it's lagging on the OBS. It is definitely lagging on the OBS. Lagging side. hard on the OBS, dude. But it's not lagging for you playing the game? No, my gameplay is fine. But y'all are going to Y'all are seeing some this. lag, dude. I'm at Dead Man's Place. That's I have where no I idea where that's at. Not where you are. Yeah. Apparently. Oh, shit. What? I'm getting shot at, dude. You're getting shot at? I feel like I am. I just was, too. Uh, maybe I heard your shit? Well, you shouldn't have heard my shit, though. Well, I don't know. Unless we are near each other, and we just don't know. We could, uh, so we probably where the are, are. But Say whatever the fuck that is. Who pliers? I need those. I'm up again. If you see some dude hugging a rock, I'm up by a rock. Cool. Area. <laughs> Super descriptive. We know none of the call-outs. All the comms. We don't fucking... Dude, what the hell is this? Dude. I what? think I'm currently getting shot at. But I need to get rid of my glasses, dude. Dude. There's somebody that's getting shot at near me. Where are you, uh... I'm at Dead Man's place, bro. I don't know where the hell that's at, dude. It's along the lake, dude. I'm on, like, by old... Like, there's, like, train tracks in the grass. Okay, so you're on the opposite side of the lake from me. And I'm by the fucking... The nuclear power plant looking thing. Yeah, so you're on the opposite side of the map from me. So... so you're... Okay. Well... That's kind of shade they spawned us like that, dude. Yeah. What a shit. Because you're supposed to, when you spawn in as, like, a team, as a group, whatever, you're supposed to legitimately spawn in the same spot. Yeah. Um, well, but apparently... Got, Mountain Stash, Old Station, and Scav Bunker are my extracts. Well, that's what I also don't understand. Why do they give us separate extracts? I've got Factory, Gate, Outskirts, Scav, Bridge, and Boat. Okay. So... The only one we have the same would be Factory Gate, but we'd need a PMC to team up with us to extract. It's not going to happen. No. Well, it might. No, but it's very it. unlikely. Very unlikely. But... I'm scaving a coat right now, dude. If you want to head north towards the lumberyard, like north and to your east... No, west. Well, north I don't know what direction I'm even facing. Dude. Well, 
Are you I'm by literally the walls across right the now? street. Are you by the walls right I'm now? I'm looking at the walls. Okay, so go away from the walls. Well, I'm, I'm looking at dead bodies stuff. right now, dude. Let's see what is this. It's lagging super hard on it. Either of you guys got a bag I can steal? Oh, I hate this backpack. What is it? It's a fucking the scab BKBO, bag, dude. dude. No, it's worse. It's worse than the scab bag? Yeah, the scab bag is way better than this shit. See the guy drop. A uh, Mosin. I go with the. Are you scabbing the Mos right now, dude? I'm grabbing the Mos right now. Dude. Yeah, I would grab the Mos too. Yeah, I'm grabbing this arm that's it, zero. The Mosin is honestly a very solid gun, dude. Yeah, it really is, dude. Ooh, with the Vepper. Take him. Get rid of the fucking Remington, dude. But I got 12 gauge ammo. Well, then take his VEP ammo, dude. If it's still there. Got a Vortex Razor. What is this? Got a key for something. A what? Got a key for something. Got a key for something, dude. Yeah, dude. A key for something is always better than a key for nothing, I always say. Yeah. Dude, I'm out here. I'm. It looks like an old dilapidated train and shit, and there's a fence, and uh, there's an opening yeah. in the fence I'm about to go through. Yeah. Do you know where I'm at? I know where you are, yeah. Well, where are you, dude? I'm the opposite side of the map, you know? What? What? I might just try to get on over to you. Which, either way, I need to head that way anyways. Just Is this an old me. train? I yeah, don't assume. probably at the old, yeah. Old station. Yeah. Gotta head due east. Due east, dude. But I gotta head a little northeast to avoid the lumber yard. I'm gonna process, drop and search this, which I can never get anything from anyways half the time. But nope, nothing. Alright. I don't know why I stop every time. What? That, whatever the hell that fucking thing is drawn on the ground. Well, there's the scab, dude. You could, I think, anything can in the game can spawn there or something. There's something about it where, like, at the little cultist thing, yeah, that there's definitely stuff that could spawn, yeah, that uh, that you'd want to be checking there for, for sure. One thing is scabs is if you're hearing the other voices around me, is those are scabs. If I attack a scab, all scabs go aggro on me, and right yeah. up there is a sniper scab that I want to avoid, because I can't touch him right now, Yeah. but he can definitely touch me, and so I'm not fighting those scabs. Well, but we're scabbing right now, though. We are scabbing, and as scabs, they are not aggressive towards right. us, unless you harm another scab. Right. So don't be harming scabs, dude. No, not you as a scab. Harm, not as a scab, dude, but as when a you're PMC, PMC, they're going after you, you can scab. You can scab them all, dude. The PMC they're going for either way, so there's no getting away from it. But there's a scav, and it's a little bit easier. But I'm gonna be running through where the sniper scav's gonna be watching. He's got some fucking range. Yeah. He is I don't know what they arm him with in the he game, is but fucking. Well, yeah, apparently he's got an SVD. 
okay. all those times. Well, it makes sense, kind of, I guess. Yeah, I was watching some stuff and looking at some people playing through the game, and they're talking about how it's rare, but sometimes if you do get him and he drops, you can get his SVD for all. Oh, if it the falls off he, or But shit. he has to fall off the side of the cliff right. when he drops. Right. Which is not common, unfortunately. It'd be nice to just get an SVD like that. But first, you got to hit his ass. Right. So what is our fine. what is our extract if we can make it? Well, our extracts are going to be different. So your extract, the only extract we have the same as Factory Gate, like I said, but we'd have to co op. Right, with we PMC. need a PMC, which is not yeah. going to happen. No. But so what you want to do? I think you're headed my way, and I need to be headed your way. I'm up by the mountain right can now. Can we wave to each other, dude? Can we do the little wiggle wiggle the, peak thing? The little wiggle peak thing. Oh shit. Is that someone shooting on your shit? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I'm hearing it like a mug. It's close to me, so we're not that far. No. Where are you in relation to the center um, mountain? I have no idea. I'm in the fucking woods somewhere. So am I. Making noise for no reason. I'm coming up onto the mountain. The way that I came through before. That rock looks sus. That is a sus looking rock, dude. No. Come back here. Look at that rock. See that rock right there? That's not a sus ass. That's a rock. sus looking rock. That is a dude, sus looking rock, dude. Like if there ever was a sus looking dude, rock, this aim that down is a sus sight speed rock. is terrible on this fucking thing, and the yeah. eye box is awful on this fucking scope. Yeah, they're not always the best. All right, I also so forgot now, how to check how much ammo I got in my fucking mag, so I don't yeah, even know if I got two or fifteen rounds in you here. Probably figure that out because. Same thing, and that's again a huge thing. It's stupid, and of course we've seen throughout time how the clear mags are weaker in a lot yeah. of cases, but they are way easier to tell how much ammo you got left. And when yeah. you don't know on a battlefield pickup or even just a reload or a tactical load or whatever it is that you might be doing, being able to know pretty much instantaneously approximately how much ammo you do have left. Could be a great benefit. So, like Polish barrel mags or barrel mags on AKs, um, you know the HK mags, like on the G36, the SL8, the whatever, some USPs. Um, you know, being able to pop out the mag and, and see, hey, I got some ammo left, or oh shit, I better reload, or oh yeah. shit, I better fucking run. You know, so. I'm gonna recover some stam real quick, dude. Yeah. Just dropped. Remember? Drop to the prone, you recover. I did drop into the prone, dude. You do recover it faster, dude. I, which I didn't know. You told me that. Yeah. It's good to know for sure. Mm hmm. It's definitely beneficial when the time comes for it. It should be near some shit. But I can never remember exactly how to get to this fucking spot. There's like two s hidden stashes, like right next to each other. And I can never remember how to get to them exactly, but I know they're around here. It's like on the edge of a valley and then in the valley. And like a crevasse. A crevasse, a you crevasse. say? Crevasse. That's very fancy. Oh, shit. I think that's Sniper Scav. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at least. That's why we're both hearing him so well. Because he is loud. He makes his presence very well known. But now I'm over where you spawned in. I'm heading towards the extract, trying to figure out if I can find this crevasse. I think I found my crevasse. I've been looking for. Dude, I don't know if this is a PMC or a scab, dude. How do I tell? Do the wiggle, dude. No, I Just fucking... wiggle at him. Just keep doing your wiggling, dude. Dude, is... Dude, I, I got such a shot on this guy. If it's fucking... I don't oh. know if it's a scab or not, dude. Should I risk it? I don't know, dude. Just pop off a random shot. See if he goes for it. Like not at him. 
kind of shit, you know? Like a warning shot. I forget exactly where this hidden stash is at. But I know it's over here somewhere. Did my That's aim okay. stamp? Oh shit. Your arm stamps down. My arm stamp, dude. I don't know, dude. Could have been a scav, dude. I don't want to mess up my scav carm. Oh, yeah, shit. Dude. What the fuck is that? I got a golden egg, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, I haven't even found a single thing to loot yet, but there's hella motherfuckers out here just looting shit. Yeah. Just for no reason. That's how it be sometimes, dude. You just know, gotta be looting, bro. It's kind of rude, dude, honestly, when you think about it, because... I'm just trying to also loot some stuff. And I'm looting stuff, dude. Looting, looting hella stuff, stuff dude. dude. Just got an AK-74. I'm getting the fuck out of here. That's what I'm doing. Why would you loot. be doing such a thing? Because I got a golden egg, bro. What else could I need? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I don't know, dude. I don't know. Jacked and climbed a beam beanstalk for that motherfucker. Why would I need yeah, to do yeah. anything else? And I'm already at old station. Let's get the fuck out of here. You drop and watch. Cover my ass. Make sure he's following me. And I'm out. Must be nice, dude. Yeah, it's great. You need to see what the fuck. <laughs> what the hell is this, though? Got a what? Ronin helmet, dude. <laughs> dude, that's that shit that, like, HK developed. Yeah. And the fucking... That's oh, nuts, nuts, dude. Yeah. Oh, the class 3 armored fucking helm. Right, dude. Uh, let's see. Here. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. I don't know which one I need more, dude. All of it, dude. What's the point of scaving, dude? Dude, I'm scaving so you need hard. It all, right now, dude. dude. Oh, fuck, dude. Doesn't fit, dude. No, dude. Got Doesn't another fit, Mosin, dude. dude. Got a Vapor, dude. Nice. Got the Roan. Not the bad Roan. Yeah. That Not doesn't exist, one. anyways. Got 746 rubes, dude. That's hella rubes, dude. I know, dude. It's pretty impressive. Just found it. Alright. Next. 3.035 kilometers travel. Dude, you can't take the toilet paper that's in the fucking. In the porta potties? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to do right now? Yeah, dude. You're trying to loot a porta potty? <laughs> that's fucked up that you can't. That is pretty fucked up. You, you should be able paper, to. Dude. You, you would need think... the toilet paper for your hideout. Yeah, dude. dude. You would think. You'd think you could steal some toilet paper from the porta pots. You would think. I mean, dude. People be doing that in real life when they need toilet paper. Why can't you do it in Tark? Right. You got it's just unrealistic, bro. It's unrealistic. It's a shame, dude. Now, what the it. fuck is up with this golden egg though that I grabbed? It could be like a, a streamer item, or it could be a lot of things, dude. A golden Why egg you? with a Meyer engraving. How much is it worth? I don't know. I'm about to find out, because I don't think I need a golden egg for nothing. Unless I do. What do you need uh, it for? It goes into my scav box, dude. So maybe I do need a golden egg for something. I don't know. I don't know what I need for what. Yeah, that's the whole thing, dude. Is like, it's like knowing what you need for what purpose. Yeah. And what you should sell, what you should hold on to. I'm making way too much noise. But You're always making way too much noise. Ha, dude. That's kind of rude. Kind of rude, dude. Yeah, dude. You gonna cry rude. about it? Yeah, a little bit. Do it. Alright. I'm gonna put my pliers back down my scatter box, dude. Just 
lost Cam camera for a second. We lost Cam, dude. We lost Cam's, dude. Dude, how we are we going to do this? We didn't lose Cam's, we lost Cam's. How dude. are we going to do that, dude, dude? we got it back. Now. Are we good? Yeah, dude. Are we good? We yeah. are. We're good, dude. The key to the Ali store outlet cash register. This is the ultra shopping mall, dude. That's what I got. Got a Razer HD Gen 2, 1 to 6 by 24. That's pretty decent, dude. Yeah. That's pretty decent. And I also got a Schmidt and Bender PM2, 1 to 8 by 24. That's a good scope, dude. Yeah. What else do I grab that time? I grabbed Stony Ham's dog tag. Even though you didn't kill him? Even though I didn't kill him. Stealing Val, dude. <laughs> exactly, dude. Dude, so I, I wish they could see my screen, dude, because I'm out here operating, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm operating so hard right now, dude, but I don't know where to go. I have no idea where to go. What I'm going is straight to try to sell this fucking piece of shit bag. <laughs> what are you selling, dude? It's fucking VKBO. Dude, so what do I need? I don't need it's telling what the hell is the point in having a bag that bad. gives you way less stash space? A third less stash space than it takes up in your fucking shit. Fuck That's fucked that. up, dude. You don't need that. You, go to the you don't need that dude. kind of negativity in your life, to dude. sell this trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. You just don't need Holy that. Holy fuck. What? That Ronin helmet I can sell for 102 pal. Damn, dude. That's some decent money. There's just... But it's cool, and I don't want to sell it. But also, like, <laughs> it's pretty shit as far as the actual helm. <laughs> Alright, so I got 8 minutes and 51 seconds left, dude. So, I'm still scabbing, even though I got hella shit. Do you need me to instruct you once again on how to extract from this map? Do you know where your extracts are? I I mean, alright, so let's see. I got factory gate, outskirts, scab bridge, and boat. Okay, so you can go And I'm out. still by kinda, I'm in that fucking big ass fucking area. Still the, by where you spawned? Um, or you well, not right. I'm down. I'm down by the lake. Okay. We'll so, follow the lake all the way to if you're if you are the lake, the left side, and you'll hit boat. But you'll go past where we died the last PMC run. Yeah. So. But I'm scabbing more shit real quick. The the one thing that you got to learn in in Tarkov is you can't you can't be greedy. No. But he gets greedy. Um, well, listen, dude. I'm just. It's. I'm trying. This is. Right there. I just gotta see, just out of curiosity, how much this gold mag is actually worth. What? The gold mag, dude. How much do you think a gold mag is gonna sell for? A golden egg, dude. A golden egg, dude. I don't know, man. How many rooms, dude? How I many of my dogs, it, bro? I thought you said it was a hundred thousand. No, that was the fucking helmet. Oh, that was just the helmet. That dude? was just the helmet. Was I don't know, dude. What? How much I already does sold a... that shit? I gotta go to therapist to sell the golden egg. Nobody else wants my golden egg, dude. The golden egg's only worth forty-two thou. Damn. Shade. That key I picked up is worth fifty. Yeah. Super shade, dude. That is super shit, dude, when you think about it. What are you gonna extract, bro? Dude, I got six minutes and 46 seconds left, and I am trying to fucking run my ass off, dude. I wonder how much this fucking mask I got is worth, though. I don't think I ever actually checked that shit. So, where is Boat, dude? It's past Lumber Yard. All the way, it's like that dock that's right past the lumber. Dock. Okay, so not the dock that I got sniped on. But the next dock that's like has the boat that's sunken. Yeah, yeah. But I gotta go past it. You gotta go to that sunken boat. Yeah, yeah. So the sunken boat. Yeah. I'm at the sunken boat, dude. Yeah, that should be your extract. Dude. It's not, dude. What do you mean, dude? So. Is there two sunken boats? I, Come look at what I'm looking at. I'm real going quick. to, but first I'm going to show them the map because it also shows you the map. And so this is where you want to be, and I'm about to tell you where the fuck you're at. 
I'm either there or I'm looking across at it. That or it's this one over here. I don't yeah, know what this is. That that's one. what it is? Yeah, that's right. it. Because see, you have the zombie yard. It's yeah. right behind you. Isn't there also Dead Man's whatever yeah, right there? Dead Man's too? place is right around the rock from I that. I thought that was also an extract for it a scab. Is. It is, but not this game. Each match, you have a different extract. It's just too. weird, though, that we got the same exfil, or at least we're supposed to, when we yeah. spawn in. Yeah. We're but supposed then to spawn we have together. different extracts. We're supposed to spawn in together, but then we're also You'd think we'd have extracts that are the same. You would think, dude. But apparently not. The last game, we did have the same extract on one of them. We both had Old Station. You just chose to not follow me after saying that you would need to follow me the whole map, because you didn't know the map. I mean, I know a little bit of the maps from yeah. watching other people play, and then... You could also follow that down. Instead of going to the boat, you go to outskirts, because that's one of your x too, right? Yeah. There's also a hidden stash down there, too. By where, though, dude? By I only got four minutes trees. and 30 We're seconds left. Extracted boat, dude. Dude. Should I get greeds? Don't get greeds, dude. I'm getting greeds, dude. Don't get greed, dude. I'm getting greed, dude. dude. Don't get greed. You have plenty of time to play Tark while I'm editing dude. the podcast. Dude, I'm getting some cool shit, I feel like. Dude. Where are you at, though, dude? Dude, I'm at the fucking dock looting shit right now. <laughs> fucking You're getting up. greeds, dude. I'm getting super fucking greed. But you know what? What, dude? I'm making it, dude. Yeah, dude. 3.53 left, dude. Uh, I gotta just, run, dude. You need to section out the shit that you grabbed, then log in on this computer, and we're gonna show them what the hell you got from your... Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I uh, well, wanna see on. they're invested now at this point. If any of them are actually still dude. watching, but... Nobody's still watching. No, Joe Morgan might be. Joe Morgan he is might still not watching. be, because he's not into the gaming. He's not, he doesn't like the gaming, dude. It's just like it, Christian Constitutionalist, dude. They're just not down with the gaming, dude. Which I don't understand, dude. Because this is gun gaming. And we are gun guys yeah, that are gaming together doing gun stuff. How is this a 10 round 7.62 mag? It's a California. It's pinned and welded. That's or bullshit, the fuck. dude. How do they have California mags in Russia? Who knows, dude, but they're communists over there, so that it's makes sense. Bull, dude. Got another Mosin, there. Alright, so I'm at the fucking thing. I got three minutes left, dude. Where Could I scab some more shit? Just fucking get out of there, Well, dude. hold on. Get getting greed, dude. I'm not getting greed. I'm going to fucking greed, Dead Man's dude. whatever the fuck. I already set, searched that. There's nothing left. You searched it? Yeah. There's right. nothing left. Shade. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to extract it. But, dude, the Ikea chest Get a break, cheeky though. kill before I fucking dip, dude? <laughs> <laughs> the God. Ikea chest rig, though? That's and you can buy that in real life, dude. You can. How much is it? I hear it's the idea chest rig because licensing and such. But wasn't it like forty bucks? To buy I think it's well worth it, that. dude. Because honestly, yeah. those bags are indestructible. They are. And that would let, now be it's high vis. You can spray SOE. paint it, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll ship sooner. But even though it's coming from Russia. Yeah. All right, so I got no kills. You might not be able to get it anymore. I got a it's fuck ton Russia. of shit. I got the splinter cell head harness thing, dude. Well, what we're gonna do. How do we do this though? I'm, you are going to transfer everything into your fucking shit, right? Right. And then keep it to a place oh. where you can show what you just grabbed. And then I'm going to back out of here. Exit out of here. you got to exit out of there. And then we're going to have to through the mu movie magic. There won't be any movie magic. We're not pausing this shit. There's no pausing, dude? No, no, no I feel pausing, like that's dude. reckless. No pausing, dude. This is reality, dude. This is reality TV, This is reality TV, TV, dude. TV, dude? This is reality TV. I feel, I feel like people, it's, bro. it's not, dude. It's for the people. <clears throat> but. Dude, I'm running out of room, dude. You're running out of room, dude? Yeah, hold on. I gotta organize some shit. <laughs> We're all running out of room, bro. We're all thing. definitely all running out of room, dude. Yes. Everybody's running out of room on the roads. All right, so that's completely full. And this is the thing that you're going to experience in Tarkov. Yes. Is that, okay, I got some room. But not enough room for that. But I got room for this. And this. But now I'm not going to know what the fuck I got. I'm going to try and put all the... Just the shit yep. I got. 
but I don't know. I got all types of shit, though, dude. I got all types of shit. And some shit's not even gonna fit, dude. I'm just gonna have to do it, dude. I'm gonna have to put several shits together. This isn't even gonna work. Nobody's no. gonna see it. No. It's all, it's all shit now. It's all gone to shit, people. Well, maybe you should sell some shit off. Sell some shit off. Sell some shit, dude. I'm safe queen it, dude. Sell some shit, you get don't... some money, buy that fucking scav box. Yeah, I know. I do need to get the scav box. I, and I yeah. definitely have enough to fucking scav it now, dude. Yeah. And then you'll just fucking have plenty of space to stock up more. Yeah. Like, I fucking, I sold off a bunch of my shit and got the scav box. Yeah. Made a and shit ton just... of room in my, in my stash. And then just filled then it just up. Filled it right the fuck back up. Right. Like, literally the same night. Which is what you have so, to do, dude. Was, you gotta scab some shit sometimes, dude. I still haven't racked the money back yet. So I'm not selling any shit yet again. Right. Really? But I'm, actually, before I started saving up my money for the scav box, I'm probably at where I was previously. Right now. I wasn't paying attention. Damn. But, because I was at like 380000 before I started saving up for that scav box. See, I spent some money. I bought some shit just because I was like, ah, I got some money, I'll buy some shit. Yeah. And I wanted, like, I bought a couple 1911s, I bought mm-hmm. some 45 ammo, I bought because I had mm-hmm. to, you know? And then whatever else, and I bought... You know what I did? What? Because I had, like, 800 and something dollars, but I need the rubes. Right. The How do you buy box? rubes? And where can I use euros? So you can't buy the rubes, you can buy the dollars with the rubes, right? right? But I had the dollars, and I needed some rubes. Right. So I bought, with the dollars, a shit ton of 45, and I sold it for rubes. Damn, dude. And see, that's took, what I've I noticed, I took, like, too. a 30% loss on it, on the investment, but it got me to the point where I had the but money. But you know what I've noticed, price. though, too, is that, like, the Russian traders want American yeah. shit, and the American people want Russian shit, it seems like. Yeah. Because some Russian traders don't want Russian shit. Like, they won't buy it. Yeah. So... Like, Prapper, I feel like he should buy almost anything. Yeah, but doesn't. but there's a lot of shit you just won't buy. You right. won't buy American shit either sometimes. So, yeah, it doesn't make much sense. I don't know. Maybe he's just not into the high-end shit. Yeah, what I don't know. It's Maybe more, he's, he's, he's the fly-by easy, night. Yeah. He does, and I don't know how long this goes on for, yeah. but he does give you free shit every once in a while, yeah. especially if you're doing bad, probably, is what it is. Yeah. It's like a built-in thing That's in the game. That's why I haven't gotten it in yeah. a while. <laughs> it's it's a I've built got in too thing much in the money game. now, and right? Shit. Right. Fuck. Yeah. And I think that's what it is, and it's cool because yeah, it is. it's a pretty mm-hmm. intense game, it and is. it's very difficult. Like the first few days, I just got hookups on free guns, yeah. bags, stuff like yeah. that, and I'm like, you don't cool. pay, no. you don't pay for healing yourself and nope. getting your shit back, you know, until I guess level four. We yeah, saw he got four, level four. I'm still level three. PMC is paying yeah. for healing, which yeah. you better fucking at least grab some shit in your secure container right. to pay for that shit. Right. You know, or or just have what it to mean, help then, get from, along from the task. From a zero is like nine nine thousand rubes. Yeah, which nine thousand rubes ain't really enough. No, not so, really. But if you keep dying and dying you, and dying, and when, then you but keep when you start off the game shit, at five hundred thou, you know, yeah, you can run a scav run. If you make it out of a scav run, that gun's at least ten thou. And in theory, know? though, too, it's, if you're at level four where you have to start paying for it, yeah. you kind of sort of know the game. Yeah. You kind of sort of know the controls. You kind of know. My sh- problem is I know this map so far. This That's is primarily it? the map I've been playing. I've played on a few of the other maps. Like, I forget which Customs, one I did. Customs, Reserve, I did, I did, Shoreline, I Lighthouse. I think I did Reserve on the one. Yeah, the Reserve was the one I did, I think, two runs on Reserve. It's like the military the base sky. or something? Yeah. That wasn't too bad either. It's a smaller map. Reserve, like. it's a smaller. It's But it's. This map does not show yeah. the true size. Like it is, yeah. Because you can, can't you get you to that house it. or something. You like, you can scale yeah. up the mountain like, and all types of different shit. The this is the scale. Like this hill here is like the size of like one of those bigger hills in the game. Like the USEC camp. Right. That's how big that yeah that hill is right there. Right. You know. So it's a pretty big like compared to uh, what was the one you were running the factory. Compared yeah. to factory, yeah. this is probably four or five times the size of factory. Yeah. This map, but you know, it's still at least as looking at the map right woods, now, it looks like it's way smaller than yeah. woods. And originally, from what I've been told by Kevin, is that woods was smaller. Yeah, and it they, was. Expanded they expanded it. it. They, they, complete, it, it you know, they got it to double. Because yeah. when I was looking at the maps and everything, I was seeing the maps that were half the map. You know, right. it was nowhere near the size. Right. So, it and that's the thing. This is all still in beta, and it's continuing to mm-hmm. progress. And if you do buy the game. You know, everybody. It probably is a good idea to buy the standard edition at forty-five bucks and see if you even like it. But 
if you do like it, you'll learn really quick that it's not enough space. No, it's you not. don't have to ever pay to play in Tarkov. You can buy the standard edition of the game for forty five bucks and work your way up and earn and grow and yep. acquire and buy and sell and trade you're and whatever not safe it is. Cleaning shit and you want to yeah, you don't want to have gear for shit, your, you know, you know, but. So, Unfortunately, both of us, we just, we like the guns, we're hoarding, so dude. we want to hold on to those <laughs> guns, hoarding, we don't dude. want to get rid of them. Right, dude, I'll just, so, I'll do a scab run just to get some kit that I could go PMC with. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's literally mine. it, like, that's what, I yeah. I don't think I've taken anything, like, I still have both my M4s. So I, I got all with. the Berettas, I got all the HK MP5s, you, I lost I got my fucking... Berettas right off the bat, pretty yeah. much. You lost one of them. I lost one. Well, yeah, but it was rude. You deserved it. Let's, I got one Beretta, though. I got one Beretta left, I think. I got hella shit, dude. I, so got, I got so much shit, dude. So are you going to show, show the off? people? Run, run are you going to show off what you got? Yeah, dude, but we're going to have to take a quick piss break. <laughs> <laughs> and reconfigure it. All right, so we'll pull it be up. right back after a piss break. Recording all of this. <laughs> it's not con, It is dude. con, dude. It would have been con. If it was recorded, it would have been con. I don't think it's con. If it was recorded, it would have been con. you guys at home think this is con? It was con. I personally. It was con. I personally If you would have been recording, it would have been con, dude. It doesn't have to be good con. It would have been con, dude. Would have been gone. None of our content. <coughs> so anyway, but. we are here, dude. We are here, and yeah, this, is, this is this is my character. This is terribly tactical account. Yes. And uh, so we've got this is my dude right here, and uh, you can have an armband. I'm surprised you don't rock the toxic green armband. I just, you know, which I find personally, mystic. I know, but I mean you're in a lot of green environments, yeah. so you know I feel like the toxic it's, green. Though. What do you mean, dude? That's our. Not well, the my environment color, isn't dude. toxic green, dude. It's that looks like a bright leaf, dude. dude that's a you're spring not leaf. You're a very bright leaf, dude. Okay, regardless. So I just got the, dull, the old ass, double. I got the leaf. I got the double barrel, the Joe Biden special right now cooking. Yeah, I just go outside the map and fire two blasts, and all the scavs die. You go outside the map, you get hit by mines or right. sniper scavs. Right. And so we've talked about it. You know, you could customize. You know, you could okay. Now I got a helmet on and shit, and it's got different. You could take the helmet. You can inspect. And see what it is, and you know its ratings, and what it's it's got a ricochet chance, a high ricochet chance. It's got 25 armor points. Okay, you can repair it, you can fix it. It's an armor class level four, so it's you know level four rated. So and level four is like real level four, so it's rifle rated, um, and and just different stuff like that. And it's click drag, or you could hotkey it or whatever, and you can organize your inventory. This here on the right, this is your stash. And, you know, I'm trying to organize it the way I was looking at it was head to toe. So, you know, I got my helmets and my ear pro, and then I, now I'm down to the torso. I got some rigs. Inside of this rig, uh, the AVS, you can inspect it, you can open it. And so inside of it, this is what I have, you know, just inside it. I'm merely using it as a form of storage because I'm not using the rig right now. So I, instead of having a bunch of extra inventory space taken up by random shit, you can stuff it in bags Especially the or AVS. kit. Or whatever, yeah. So because it, it gives a lot you a less lot. space in the storage. Yeah, this is one of the best rigs in the game. It's not yes. the highest armor by any means. I think it's a level four, but the, and the highest you can get is level six. It's very rare. It's hard to get. It's expensive, but for it being a chest rig and a, a a piece of armor, which I talk about all the time, I personally in real life like the armor, like a Feral Concept Slickster rig, or perhaps like a, a T Rex yeah, Arms you'd run AC more like that, that trooper. Right, I would run something there. like the trooper here. And it would be well. They actually have the Feral Concept Slickster in the game, yeah. and it's one of the one of the better ones. Um, but I'd run like a just a, a plate carrier, and mm -hmm. then a separate chest rig over that because I like the idea of being able like to wear one right without there. the other, or both of them together, or you know whatever. Because like at least maybe I'm not armored, but I take the armor off. I can still have the chest rig that still gives me ammo. You know, mags, medical tools, maps, whatever I need in real life or in the game. So it gives you a lot of options and it helps you think about how you're going to set up your kit. But the, here's the storage size all the way down. This is your stash size and this is the amount of space that you have to fill with guns and ammo and equipment and bags and whatever it is. So on this last raid that we just did, picked up this scav vest. Okay, I could open it up. Yeah, so... Um, here's it, I got mags, I got a mask, I got some soap, and that's a full rig. So it takes up this much space, and as far as the space that you get inside of it, it's less yeah, yeah. by two spaces, but it's still taking up less space than if I had all this shit randomly scurried about. So with you know, the best of these. right? So and then I got these headphones. Um, that's where I just sold the best. I got the bolt gun, 
you know, I picked up a scav knife. These, you need to get seven of these. There's a test to get seven of these scav knives, and then you can get an H&K UMP, which, of course, I'm going to well, do that. It's not so much a task. It's more so just a trade. Through right, it's traders. a trade, but it is a task to acquire them. And you can do it repeatedly. Them. Right. So you could just, and every time you scav in, there's a chance that your scav spawns with this knife in his pocket already. So yeah. you could just, as long as you survive. Right. Even the brown handled one, you can trade. I sell those for 2,000 something rubes every I, time. I just trade them for a freaking MP5. You'll get more money out of selling that MP5 than you would True. scav. True. True. How many do you need? I think like four or five. Well, so I didn't know that. Because I've just been selling them to fence. I've just been selling them to fence. And it gives me like two something thousand rubes per each oh, one, but I had so many. Five. But you could see that you know there, there's all types. I tried to have it organized. I, my idea was it was going to be you know helmets and comms and masks and hats and all that shit, and then go down to the torso. So now we got armor, we got chest rigs, you know all that stuff, and then going down further, you know we got backpacks. Okay, which again I have an EDC backpack. It's sitting right over there. The scales has an EDC backpack. A lot of you guys have EDC backpacks or just EDC kit in general. And uh, being able to have more capability with you because you have the availability to bring it with you. So yep. packs, chest rigs, your pockets, whatever it is, it's all space to be utilized and it's up to you how to utilize it both in real life and in the game. But I always advise you to set yourself up for success. So, you know, different stuff like this bag right here. This bag holds more spots. You can put more slot items each. There's individual slot items like here that's one this is another one this is another one this it's ikea chest there. rig is, is a three by three or it's a two by three so it's six slots so this one you get more storage space internally than you do you can see that this spot is bigger than the spot that the entire bag takes up and it gives you more opportunity to hold more gear organize it whatever um same thing with here the other thing too is you can put I got MP5s, I got M9s, I got my rubles, I got a wallet. A wallet in itself is important because you can hold, I don't know, it's it's some a couple million rubes, I think. Yeah. But the the wallet, it's a one slot, but then you get four slots worth of rubles, which is nice. Well, it'd be two million, because so you can only have a stack of 500,000 rubes. Right. At a time. Okay, so yeah. And then you saw I just clicked and dragged the rubles into the wallet, and now I got another free space to open up if I want to fucking put this mail in here. Because you never know when you're going to need some mail, and now I got more free space <laughs> now it's here. In the bag, bro. Now it's in the bag, dude. In the EDC. In the EDC, dude. EDC in the mail, dude, because that's how white I am. Um, here's another bag, you know, more rubles, more MP5s, more M9s. You know, I'm trying to do clone builds. Here's a bag where I have the same bag inside of the bag because that's the thing because up until yep. a point in real life you can obviously fold down bags compress yep. bags stuff them in other bags have deployable bags inside of your bags and much like I'm assuming most of you out there you come with a lot of baggage so inside this bag I have the same bag and then inside that bag I have a bunch of equipment so now I'm getting this amount of space two bags and then all these slots one of those bags worth of space in one slot so managing my inventory is very important especially when you've got a bunch of shit to manage and just like in real life the beans bullets and band-aids you need to have them you need to know how to use them but you also got to know how to store them and even more importantly before you store them before you put them away organize them now this isn't the best on the computer set i've i've been playing on it's awful uh new upgraded computer coming soon but being able to even just play a little bit Hustling tonight i mean two three weeks tops i had a couple setbacks i had some guns and gun adjacent items i needed to purchase first um but now that is out of the way and and we can for make now. it happen for now of course always pending subject to subject to change but you can see you know all types of and you can get ammo if you go to the traders so these are all traders here's therapist she's like the the medical person if you get this box the lucky scab box yeah. This is how many spaces it gives you, and this is how much space it takes up in your inventory. So yeah. it's advantageous to have all the shit that you need, you know, allocated to this box that will go in there, and it frees up a lot of other space in your inventory. So you can have armor, so you can have guns, you can have attachments, you can have sights, you know, whatever it is. Um, and that's where you're going to put all your mission-specific yeah. and items and everything like that, everything yeah. you need to build out your hideout. Unfortunately, you can't put anything in there. Yeah. 
there are some that you can put anything in there. There are yeah. other ones that are weapon specific, ammo specific, medical specific, which is very much so how you should do it in real life. Yeah. You should have your ammo with your ammo. You should have your guns with your guns. You, you should, should also, also have, have your guns with, with your, your ammo. Gun. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so and then you should have medical with your guns because if we're using guns, that shit's dangerous. You should have armor offense. with your guns and right. your medical and your ammo. Right. It's so it's just, again that really you should all just be one storage. Yeah, but but it needs to be well organized because you yeah. need to know. Hey, when I need armor, yeah. I could grab it right here. When I need yeah. medical, when I need ammo, when I need magazines, when I need a pistol, when I need or this have rifle. One case where you have everything. Right, grab but you got to carry that shit. Yeah, you got to fucking carry that shit. That so shit gets heavy, real heavy, real <laughs> yeah. quick. And so I, it could get yeah. too heavy in the game to where you could actually sustain damage. You could break a yeah. leg, fracture an ankle, whatever the fuck, just trip and a fall. Small jump. The weight Put alone. The weight on you. You know, the weight alone. So there's a lot of not stuff. Imagine, even if you're not completely yeah. at that weight, but just a little over the weight limit of what you should be able to carry, is yeah. you're, you're going to slow down, you're going to make more noise while you walk, everything like that. Lucky so. Strike cigarettes, dude, right yeah, there dude. in the game. Lucky yeah. Strikes. Well, let's inspect those Lucky Strikes. Shout out to Hank Williams, dude. There's a pack yeah. of Lucky Strikes in Tarkov if you're watching. Um, he's already said he's not watching any of the Tarkov content. <laughs> That's shady, dude. I found this fucking this coin, dude. Yeah. This Keep coin, this shit. little, I know. But because it, that is strictly a trade item, pretty much. So you can sell it, and it's worth some money. Or you can trade it, and it's you can trade it towards a lot of cool shit. Says who? Says what I just looked you up. You looked on. it up? What I can I trade did. it for, dude? So you need usually multiples, obviously. Right. It's not just going to be Check one. out this ma mayo, dude. Oh, you can spin it, dude? I didn't know you could spin it, dude. Look at this mayo, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh, dude, you're gonna be like undercover brother with the fucking watch that squirts out the hot sauce and shit in an emergency. <laughs> like AK-74N, Kalashnikov AK-104, PP-1901, Simonov, Colt M4A1, FN Scar, FNP-90, Colt M4A1. Dude, I want a P90, dude, and I want the FN-57. Lone Star TX-15 DML, Glock 17, for two of them. Two Glock 17s it. I could get, no. That ain't worth it. Well, it's Glock 17 Fisher. But yeah, dude. So I got this bag inside of this bag. Inside of this bag. You can trade. Inside of this bag. 20 Bitcoin inside and 20 GP coin. You can get the thick weapon case with thick. two Cs. Dude, dude. that's thick how with many two coins Cs do I need? weapon coin. How case. many coins do I need for that? 20 and then I got this GP bag. coin and 20 Bitcoin. Which has also got that bag. <laughs> which has also got all that shit in there. And then here is... A dog tag. So when you kill another PMC in Tarkov, which is another player that's like one of us idiots out there actually yeah. playing against you in real time online, the only way, it's not like Call of Duty where you get to see a kill cam yeah. and this, that, and the third, you get to see who killed you. The only way you know who you killed is if you get their dog tag, which is cool because that's a realistic thing. Well, so, Well, I mean. What? You can check the shit at the end of your match. It too. doesn't tell you. It just has question marks if you didn't get their dog tag. It doesn't oh. tell you their gamer tag. Oh. So it, it's cool. It's a weird thing. Some people might say it, see it as an inconvenience because maybe you didn't get their dog tag, but it was a cool, nice, you know, it was a cool fight, a fun fight that you did. Maybe you want to be like, hey, send them a friend request, be like, hey, you know, like that was cool. We should play together sometime, dude, whatever. They were killed by Terminator Daddy. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> Tell me, Forest Mommy's out here. No way, dude. No way, dude. See, this is some fucking shit, dude. Because let me tell you, this. Is, this is weird. So you didn't dude. even kill this motherfucker. I didn't even. I didn't even kill this motherfucker. Dog tag, dude. I stole it, but apparently Forest Mommy, because that's her name on Twitter, is Terminator Daddy, dude. And it's her in the meme. Did you see the picture? Yes, She's got the gun yes. and shit from the one live chat. Yes. That is the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Because what if it is, dude? What if fucking Forest Mommy's sitting there doing this oh, WASD man. fucking for hours on end and just never tells us, dude? She's out here. She's gonna be. She's the one that sniped us last night. Yeah, she was stream was, watching, dude. Was. That's fucked up though. Terminator dead. <laughs> That's gotta. It's gotta have a relation. When other in, when else in your life have it's you? It's her ever? biggest fan. Yeah, it's, you. it's first one shot. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's first one shot. Yeah, I think is. she's my biggest fan, even oh. more so than you, dude. And you just hate to admit it, but here we go, dude. So I got all types of gun. This is a Vepper Hunter. It's a 308 Vepper. You know, Russian Molot AK, but in 308. Um, you got the sight, you know, we got detachable box mags, semi-automatic 308. This is a suppressed, dude. We're out here. You know, there's different, we got full, and the other cool thing is you could fold, I can't because I don't have the room, but you could fold your stocks and save more space in yep. your stash, just like in real life. I've got a Remington 700, I got ARs, AKs, the Desert Tech. Well, only thing is if you have optics on them, though, like with that one yeah. there, you can't fold them. What do you mean? You can't fold that. Why? 
We'll try. No, I know I can't fold it, but why couldn't because I? Because you have these side-mounted optics on your AKs, and so it interferes with the folding. But this isn't side-mounted. That's top-mounted. Is it? Is yeah. it top-mounted? And it's well, a Zukov. Does it fold it? No. That's oh, what that's I, I couldn't imagine. So, so it is a Zukov. They, that's what stock. I'm saying. It's, it's folding telescoping stock. and folding. So I mean, that's, it's there's some things that are just not yeah. right in the game, yeah. and that's how I'm sure. And again, this is all just in beta. Yeah. This is it may it's change. not complete. All it's going to change. change. Everything's going to change. Everything wipes. You know. So I mean, it's just except for you when you can't find the toilet paper in the right. game. Right. So I mean, this has you a got bunch toilet of shit. Paper right there. This is exactly. So I just I, let me inspect this toilet paper. I might need this later, um, especially on shooting the poop podcast. Yes. Make sure Which you like, earlier. share, comment, subscribe. But, well, it's this channel in general. Yeah. You know, we but are it was earlier on in this podcast. channel. Right. We did the shoot the poopy podcast. We, we shot a crappy podcast we earlier we for sure. We do regularly. Every yeah, week. Every week. Four, four o'clock. And then here, Terrible at Tarkov, 7 p.m. on Friday. Yes. For when all the losers are sitting home. Four o'clock on Wednesday for the shooting the poop podcast. Right. Yes. Right. Indeed. So <laughs> this, this is all. I got a lighter. I got a little cricket lighter, dude. Yeah, I need one of them. Dude, I got one, dude. dude I, I think you could actually send it to people, like, via, like, the message, like, how we receive gear and our gear yeah, back. Yeah. There is a way that you could do that. I got some gunpowder right here, dude. That's some gunpowder. And this, one, of, one of the things in the hideout you need that lighter for. I think it's for illumination. 545, five, dude. I got 120 I rounds of 545, five, 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 dude. right now, dude. AP20, dude. Armor-piercing slugs, dude. You want some of that, dude? What do I got? One of them? Six of them. Yeah. And those are that's some of the meta of yeah. the game. Like, everybody says, oh, it's meta, which means it's really good. And, like, a lot of people are using it, whatever. That's the strat. Yeah. I got this little guy. What is this? Little rail for something? For what, for a, a Glock? Glock? Yeah. For a freaking Glock. So aim tech throw mount that base. that dot on that. Mode right, control. dude. So, I mean, there's it, everything is customizable. Yep. Everything is worth money. Everything is tradable. Everything, you know, but you got to have, you got to find everything in moderation. Yep. You got to find the balance of having enough of, having what you need and enough of it. And then also. Like half this shit could probably be sold right now. Yeah. yeah. Right now, especially since I'm, yeah. I'm newer to the game. And you're empty um, yeah. on space. I don't, I mean, I got, <laughs> I could, I could put a lot of this shit inside of packs. I got a few yeah. packs that are empty, and I got to reorganize everything. But it's going to take a good while. It literally, yeah. most of this game. That's not what he's going to do the whole time I'm editing the shoot the poop right. podcast. Right. Right. I mean, I might get greedy and do a couple more scav runs. Maybe hop yeah. in as a PMC, get those scav kills that I need, because yeah. um, my shit's been laggy as fuck. But I mean, it's just it, the whole thing again. It relates. It sounds nerdy to you guys out there, you know, perhaps, and especially if you're not a gamer or into gaming and not even that we're gamers but we are gaming um yeah. but it's like this specifically because it is so realistic because it does get you thinking hey i've got this gear and a lot of this gear we have in real life like it's the same exact shit i could do clone builds of loadouts and guns yeah. and sights and everything ammo even like they have s and b ammo i shoot s and b ammo all the time that's seller and Beloit. You know, I've yep. got AK-74s made in Bulgaria. I've got the HK SL-8, which is basically the G36. I've got the USC, which is basically the UMP. I've got Colt M16 A4s. You know, I got a, I got all that shit. I got Berettas. I got fire. And so you can do so much cool different shit. You can customize everything. Everything relates to everything. And again, the most important thing, not that this is training by any means for the real world, but it does at least get you thinking if you look at it from that point of view. Because... Yep. I only got this much space to work with. I need this, this, and that. And it's got to be good enough quality shit. The, the stuff after you use it, it needs to be repaired. It, it, it gets dirty. It gets hot. It gets, you know, worn. It has to be repaired. Otherwise, it'll fail. It, it'll malfunction. It's just like real life. And this, even if you're just gaming and you're in conditioned white and you're hanging out and everything's good and you're in, you're in the crib and you're chilling, it still puts that as a subconscious little, you know, seed into the, the back of your mind that, hey, you know, I, I got to reload. I got to repair my shit. I got to... A lot of the tactics are the same, you know. Yeah. Co cover yourself. Maintain cover or concealment. Make right. sure you know what cover is. Know the difference. Is. Yeah, for sure. You know. And Make sure and your buddy's got your back. Yeah. Make sure you're not out in the open and get sniped in the head. Right. You know? It's a bunch so, of I mean, too. it's just all types of cool shit. This one's got a top rail, so I could instantly add, you know, an EOTech or whatever I want to yeah. the top of it. Where other ones, you'd have to swap out the dust cover, customize it, get a little mount for the rear sight. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of shit. There's all your stats. You could go down here and see exactly what parts or pieces. All these parts and pieces that are highlighted, 
you, you can fucking swap in and off the guns yeah. and create other guns with it and upgrade the guns, whatever it is. And uh, it's just super, super intense, dude. And the PvP gets real hot and heavy. And uh, two, just like being a little bit of a rat boy and scaving around the map and getting, you know, shit that you need for tasks to upgrade your hideout, which is another cool thing. So you got your hideout down here. Hopefully this loads quick enough. I, I assume it would. Good. You know. But it's basically, this is your base camp. And there's a lot of things that you can do inside of the hideout. You can even mine Bitcoin, which will produce money for you. There's a little bomb shelter. So it's giving you the whole spew right here. Um, okay, I've already seen that. So here's your stash. Stash is level 4, 10 to 68. It's the biggest it could be, and that's because I have EOD, the most expensive version yeah. of the game. Um, here's the vents. The vents, I've been told, don't really do too much stuff, but there's, okay, to get them to level 2, I need these parts, which is metal spare parts and I need two of them I need three CPU fans I need you know this is a car battery yeah, or something right here yeah can I use them in the game dude no, I don't think so, so in order but upgrading your hideout it's what we mentioned before is, is it'd be great if we could just use the shit we got in the game right <laughs> I'd be I'd win it's game over dude like over here is where but you if could you lose actually, it in game you'd actually lose it no I'm not willing to do that <laughs> Uh, but here you can actually create a shooting range and try out your guns and when you practice in the shooting range and, and set up your shit it doesn't waste actual ammo in the game here's your lavatory here's all types of I was curious of... about that I hadn't looked into yet what? whether or not you lose your, sh your you ammo if you not on the range, use no. the range no you don't good it's like a free for all type of thing cool but there's everything that you upgrade your rest space your your med station your it gives you benefits in the game and, and you can craft items if you can't find yeah. items. What's that green one? Because you should be able to do that. You should have all the items required. This? Yeah. Illumination, illumination, dude? Yeah, dude. Upgrade your illumination. Dude. Boom. That's what I needed. The Basic lighter. lighting with paraffin candles giving a dim and uneven light, dude. Dude, you got the dim, uneven light, bro. I got bro. dim, uneven light, which is kind of like the first few podcasts here, <laughs> and still to this day. Yeah. So now to level two. You need 14 bulbs. And some wires. And some wires. Yep. And 10 wires. I got like five of them bulbs. Which you can buy. You can buy from traders sometimes. You can buy mm -hmm. off the flea market, which is... Would you a, have to hit level 15 You have that. to get level 15, but... You can also just find Which these level fifteen doesn't raids. seem like much, until but yeah, until you started playing <laughs> yeah. Tarkov. So I just upgraded. I didn't even know I could upgrade that ship. That makes sense. So now I got level one vents, level four stash. But again, I paid for it buying EOD Edge of Darkness, the the biggest game. Yeah. But by spending one hundred fifty bucks on the ship. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing: is Edge of Darkness guarantees at least they say all the expansions and DLCs mm -hmm. in the future. And so when this is a final and game, final you get and shit, yeah. the full package. Yep. You and get plus. Everything. It's something I support. I think this is super cool, the way that they're doing it, how everything is so realistic and in-depth, and how it could be potentially a useful yep. tool, tool or at least a good reminder of reality when it comes to situations that involve people like us prepping and life and liberty and just guns and gear and all that shit. And, um, and so it's awesome. And so I support that. I'm not you know mad at spending the money. But, uh, Remember this is supposed to be a mini podcast? Dude, we're fucking Tarkin, dude. I'm just saying. So there's a lot that goes into it. You guys stay tuned on Terrible at Tarkov since I'm getting yelled at by 49% of the podcast and oh, I'm podcasting oh, too much oh, on my oh. own damn podcast. I'm just saying we're almost the length of Listen, the shooting poop podcast. You just want to fucking, <laughs> just wanna fucking get back to Tarkin, dude. Damn so straight. do I. I'm about to Tarkin. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to Tark all night. I'm Tarkin, dude. Editing of it. I'm going to be Tarkin. Anyway, we're Tarkin. Catch us next time because we're still going to be terrible at it. But hopefully yeah. you might learn something. Maybe it encourages it might you to be buy a little the game. Bit if it's you still terrible. have a computer that will run it, buy the game for 45 bucks. It's fun. And apparently any fucking computer any will computer run it. Any computer will run it. seven-year-old fucking apparently, HP dude. pavilion. Yeah, like. apparently, dude. So, I mean, that's just that's just what it is at this point. Yep. And, um, you know, we appreciate you being here. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it gets you thinking because even if you're not into the video game aspect of it all, which I could understand, I get it, cool, fine and you're into it for real life, and you think all this is nerdy bullshit, there are lessons to be learned in in all of this. And so think about your inventory. Think about your stash. Think about the equipment that you have. Is mm -hmm. it going to hold up long term? Do you even know how to use it? Are you proficient with it? Do you have enough of it? And uh, until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.